VAWA does cover male victims as well, correct? Yes. We have a large number of male victims that come in. One in 10 men will experience abuse, you know, intimate sexual violence, partner violence, domestic violence in America. That's a really staggering number if you think about it, right? That's almost shocking because for women, I guess you understand that when you hear that, I mean, I'm shocked by it. For women, 4.8 million women are deemed to suffer intimate partner violence. But for men, it's almost very surprising. And a lot of times men tend to be very embarrassed. They don't want to talk about it. And it really takes some time sitting down and being able to listen to your client and to hear the story of what they're going through and taking that time to say, you know what, I want you to understand that you are basically facing domestic violence, emotional abuse. I've had clients that are men that have come in and they were in a very, what seemed to be a happy relationship. And financially things are going bad. And usually sometimes that's what happens with some men. Financially they lose their job or maybe they were in their country and they had this really glamorous job and it was like almost kind of like a long distance dating. They come here to the United States and next thing you know, the spouse is angry. Like, wait, what happened? What do you mean you can't support me? What do you mean you don't have the money to be able to contribute? And they're just angry because again, what they were expecting, this glamorous life no longer exists because now you have to work hard and either money is not coming in, they can't find a job, language sometimes can be an issue, and the wives end up being very verbally abusive and making the man feel less than. The man ends up becoming depressed. A lot of times the wives will take it out on the stepchildren. And a lot of times the children are like, I'm, I'm just afraid to go outside of my room because I feel that basically I'm going to be attacked. A lot of times I'm afraid to come out of my room because I see how he, she's talking to my dad. So at that point, basically, a lot of times men don't realize it and they almost kind of blame themselves. But that in itself is abuse. You should not feel less than. No one should make you feel like you are nobody. And again, if it becomes a practice, a pattern and practice of this happening on an everyday basis or even on an every week basis, it's not acceptable. It is extremely cruel. And that is the standard that people have to keep in mind. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.